Ohio River Valley pottery. It's a Van Briggle mark. Those little marks right there, those little mm -hmm. stupid signs. This is like a this is a glaze color that they're kind of famous for. Is it a candle holder? It's like a double, dual candle holder. So this is the uh, we're up here in the new studio. This is the upstairs of the old garage. This stuff is better out there. Why don't you go? It's better to be pitched. So we're gonna throw things through the through the air. That's. I'll never forget the dictator who came and ruined the antiquing for me, asking me for a grand briggle. Does that ever happen to you in your job? What's the anecdotal no-no in your job? Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. So this is a nice Illuminati-based house. So this house is based on Gematria? Yeah, it's a, it's a um, sacred geometry. Uh... <laughs> What's he saying? That's the builder. He looks like an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> this was built by an octopus. Look at the, the bush design. The Temple of Baal, oh, Sidon, yeah. Lama, Lesta, General Lesta. We are the island boys. I mean, um. You know whose house this is? This is uh, Gabrielle Union's house and Dwayne Wade's house. I think it is. I think this is Dwayne Wade's house. I like the uh, the black Victorian uh, sconces here. The the, uh, the Gothic milf core sconces in this house. Leather wrapped walls. I'm starting to like uh, upholstered wall panels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it at the studio. But this is my my jammy. My jammy. In my jammy, baby. Yo, they doing all the satanic uh, rape. Uh, they raping and they the, my jammy. Look at the house. They, they make it like a freak, dude. They made it like a devil. devil. Look, look at they made by devils. <laughs> Look, you know who make this house? Demon and devils. Diablo. They make it like, you want to be weird? Hey, dude, what's all this about? Did you see this? What's that about? I bet you when they, they walk through, they're like, sorry, I can't go through there. The only way to go through this is you have to stab your wife in the stomach and then like drag her corpse to, up the stairs and then feed her to a, like a, an octopus. But yeah, this is a nice Satan house. And the fact that the inside of it looks like Axl Rose's house or like a Brett Michaels house in 1999. Is like, look at he's got a he's got a grandfather clock. You corny piece of shit. I mean, the house is obviously nuts. I mean, it's like medieval, but it's not really medieval. It's like a southwest milf core. No rugs, tile floor, furniture. Kind of, it's not like none of it goes together. The exterior of this house and the interior of the house, they 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 didn't talk to each other. But uh, I'm glad you kept it up with all the. Uh, I mean, I like the court. Like I love this stuff. I love uh, wide open courtyards and shit like this. Uh, I wish my house had this. Or I wish I started my, my landscape job like that. This part of the landscaping is great. But I wonder if they got freaked out when they had to install the uh, the octopus, the Latin octopus space talk to the clouds. <laughs> and they could only install in the rain. That is that is pretty weird. They're like, oh, wait, you spelled it wrong. This says eat children back of neck. It's supposed to say, I like to eat the children yeah. back of neck when you're beaming the bushes to space. It's like a legal this? loophole. Yeah, and then like the uh, the orc that was building it. <laughs> the, yeah. The, <laughs> like uh, the, 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 the guys with the horns from Doom. Like the floor. Floating balls? These guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, an imp. This is what the installers look like. Uh, a doom imp. No, the, the old one, this one. Where do you want the bushes? <laughs> they're like, I'm spelling Latin, idiot. And there's like six of them, but they're all busting each other's balls. Yeah. And they're all wearing construction shit. Newbie. <laughs> Newbie on the site. <laughs> they work in like lands. They have like landscaping uniforms on. But yeah, no, I, uh, I hate this house. It's absolute hell, and um, people are burning alive. But yeah, no, I, I'm glad everybody spoke Latin on the construction site. That was fun, and I'm glad the developer was a blob of guts. And now we're flying across to Jeffrey Epstein's second house, the 12.9 million dollar house in Phoenix, Arizona. 17,000 square feet, 727 square foot, a, a, foot, a square foot, um, a disgusting uh, unilock driveway, Spanish tiled in the uh, entryway. You guys are in a McMansion mood tonight, huh? Wow, more stone on the ceilings. More brickwork in the ceilings. It's like you, you got like a brickwork fetish or something, huh? Yeah, kinky. Kinky, ooh. Spanish style carved wall panels. More Spanish style carvings. How did we run out of money on the marble though? That's what I wanna know. How do you get this far and all the other finishes and then we pick the fucking Home Depot Fucking grade A crap shit marble. You got a full blown Neapolitan pizza oven in your fucking kitchen oh, with, with uh, brickwork on your ceilings. Herringbone Z brick, which is a brick, a thin brick tile, too, basically. And you pick fucking discount closeout Oreo finish, rat ass. Jesus Christ. Double washer and dryer. Wash all my stinkies. I was about to talk, talk about the pizza oven that's in my parents' house. I was gonna say something bad about it, but I think they're they think love they're it. I think they're tuned in right now, John and Fran. Oh yeah, they're like, don't you say anything about that fucking pizza oven, Chris? <laughs> Tired of you talking shit about my uni. Is it an uni? I don't. You know, it's it was just like built into like the chimney. Did area. you eat pizza out of it? 
think maybe once. <laughs> More than once, you un ungrateful piece of shit! <laughs> That's what Fran's saying. Yeah, He's yeah. such an ungrateful little piece of shit! We got, I'm gonna give him up for adoption. Like, it's not an option anymore, Fran. He's 29. He's 29. Oh, I wish I could, though! I'm gonna change his- I'm gonna legally change his name to ASSHOLE! Chris ASSHOLE! <laughs> the last name. Yeah, that's- that's your name now! I got you, mommy, got you a new license! To Chris ASSHOLE! Motherfucker! That's your mom. She's yeah. in the driveway. Oh, man. <laughs> but tell me you never eat pizza off the old 60s pizza oven that came with the house when we bought it. You had one delicious pizza. Mmm! <laughs> She's fucking losing it. She's her, yeah. she just texting me. I would- I would love to see Fran like that. Oh, she's so pissed right now. You're gonna get fucking stabbed at it on uh, whatever the next holiday, family holiday yeah. is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just a just a goddamn ton of stone uh, of masonry work here. I mean, a, a stone wine cellar. Um, I mean, carved everything. All right. Good. Good for you. You found all the. You must have made friends with someone in the Philippines or Indonesia that carves. That's really where you. You can buy this shit in bulk. Nice new old rug, a nice new old rug, a nice copy of a new old rug, copy of a Serapi. Of course, uh, couldn't catch me dead buying that shit for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen thousand. Very gothic and uh, kind of worthless. Nice fifty thousand dollar putting green. Oh, that's probably uh, it might come with the hot. That doesn't come with. That's not doesn't come with the golf cart. I like the tile pool though. I will say that I fuck with the tile pool. This house is a monster. Jesus Christ, this house is an absolute monster. Um, all house. All yard, no no green space, just the green spaces on the golf, all brickwork. Ah, uh, no, I hate it. It looks like uh, like some rich lady who left her dork uh, hedge fund husband to go fuck Gene Simmons one time and ruined her life but ended up with a 41 Biltmore East in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. It sucks, I mean. What do you want to say? I like the I like the entryway. There are some there are some high points, but not for 13 million bucks. That's a that's a big pass for me. This is a weird house. This is fucking strange, man. Let's see the name on it. You know what? Just give me the name first, so I can get this over with. 80 acres, seven and a half million, four ninety nine. The custom design main residence was based on the, based on the designs of Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I, I based my house on um, on the Never Neverland Ranch actually. So, but yeah, the ultimate Florida Lanai. Um, again. Horse people being horse people, psychopath, crazy shit. Um, I don't think this house, this house come with all that? This is confusing me. Does it come, because this is an equestrian center. Does this come with the house? Because I don't see the house in this picture. This looks like an equestrian center. So it just comes with this part, right? That's what you're telling me? Basketball court. Right, 80 acres though. Do basketball courts double as tennis courts? I think a perfect tennis court is, uh, <laughs> is made of a different, something, something okay. a little different. It doesn't have hoops on either side. No, it doesn't have hoops on it. No, they, uh, this one's the tennis courts. You should have a grass court if you're a real young man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cut it with an English mower. Um, look at this beautiful what? horse carving out of brick that that's not a real thing. What? You know what this was? This was a rich guy listening to a Spanish dude. I can carve the horses. <laughs> like, you know what look beautiful? If I could carve it, I can carve the horse. the horse. And then the other Spanish dude comes over to him and he's like, he can carve the most beautiful things. One time he carved a guitar, and one time he carved a Mickey Mouse, <laughs> and then one time he carved a 32 Pro Street. But I can do Geronimo and the yeah. horses. Look at how good the detail is in the Geronimo mouth. That's like a guy who will do anything. Like, even if it's like, the worst thing ever, they'll just do it for any amount of money. It's a, uh, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, we should do that. That's what the owner, like, uh, you should, he, Mauricio can do like anything. He can put like a Harley Davidson in the yeah. wall. <laughs> but this guy was just like looking like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like I could put horses jumping around with the Geronimo or the sitting bull. Is the equivalent of getting like a star cut in your haircut or something yeah, like that? Yeah, like a lawyer getting yeah. it though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. all right, that sounds cool. Yeah. And then he leaves with like Riff Raff's haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he did the more horse carvings, beautiful carvings, flames, and then on top of the horses. Yeah. And like, so the flames are on fire. The horses are on fire. Good. They're running and galloping in the grass, in the tall grass. Too much brick. Really nutty house. This lanai is just out of control. Like this covered English garden with the unhealthy taxes. I mean, if you're going to pull this off, you have to be feeding these things constantly. This is this, all this growth, this dead growth. It's just... It's not what it's supposed to it's be. An observatory. Yeah, it's strange. It looks like a looks like Tom Cruise's brain in the house. You know, like Scientology stuff. Yeah, yeah. Illuminati floor, fifties diner. What's that's that doing in here? Yeah, so let's do a little rockabilly in the in the spaceship house. <laughs> cool. 
You guys ever see uh, Crybaby with Johnny Depp? That's a great movie. I'm right near the Equestrian Center. I can take pictures of it and call it my own house. I'm still a little confused at what the hell I'm looking at. If I'm getting all that, I still hate it. <laughs> Is this first time to market? They wanted 16 million for it? Holy shit. He's been selling it for $10 million, basically for many years, now he's down to seven and a half million. But no, they're not far. It's gonna sell, it'll sell for six million. It'll trade soon. Let, let me put it, I'll put you a bet on it. I bet you this sells in 60 days. Even though it's been on for 500 days, a deal will get made, they're getting thirsty. And that's just something to keep an eye on. I like doing that with property. I'm like, eh, it's getting down to like real numbers because the developers will just take it, knock it down, shoot all the horses, drown them all in the lake. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, the, the construction guys. Grab all the horses, take them down to the lake, shoot them, put them in, uh, bulldoze the, the barn. Make sure there's no other little horses running around here, blow their heads off too in case you catch any running, drown them, bring them over the lake. We're gonna push some loom over it. And then we'll just start putting a couple foundations in right over there. But first order of business is slaughter the horses. Would you take that order? If I was a developer? Or if you were under them and they were like, Oh yeah. Kill the horse, here's, here's the gun. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey Bob, bring the uh, back, I'd, I'd have it done in eight minutes. <laughs> There's uh, 14 horses, there's just a pile of them in a lake sticking yeah. out of it because I, I had a backhoe right nearby and I was just pushing them one by yeah. one. You're ready to like start eating horse meat? <laughs> I'm you calling the glue factory. Did you get Gorilla Glue on the horn? All right, we'll tell them they're in the lake if they want them. <laughs> <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> Saps Lake Road, Enigma, Georgia. Three bed, three and a half bath on 16 and a half acres, 575, which is nice. I mean, this thing looks like a Georgia peach of a house. Chevroning long panel. Long, long boards on the floor. It's an interesting way to do that. Just touch, touch it up a little bit. Just make it a little bit nicer. Make it nice. Just make it a little nicer. Oh, go ahead and be a little nice. Wouldn't that? It's like Paula Dean knockoff lady. Oh, Frank, you broke the chair again. I haven't heard much of Paula Dean recently. Yeah, Paula Dean got caught. She got, she got me too. And then she was like, "Fuck this, yeah. I'm out of here." She got me too. She... For, right. She did a slave something. auction or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, She's yeah. Fucking psychopath. I like the house though. I mean, this is ridiculous. This, this, this work is stupid it's an enigma it's it, it certainly is an enigma it's like triple crown ceiling like all right guys we get it like, we we get it oh wow good cool more <laughs> hey you can probably you can probably build these down a little bit more make them come down to here you should put crown mold in the closet too while we're at it oh isn't that fun y'all isn't that <laughs> isn't that fun y'all oh i, I kind of like women like i like this sweet oh yeah they're, they're gonna make you a peach cobbler they'll blow you yeah it's like yeah Give you a peach cobbler and a like fucking the choking blowjob, yeah. The, 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 the old ladies up here that, like... I couldn't all... breathe, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they... they... Y'all go ahead and push my head down. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> you pushed my head down. I couldn't even breathe on that thing. <laughs> y'all, anybody want some peach cobbler? Anyway. Oh, I was man. giving the gluck gluck 9,000. I'm sorry, what were you going to say? <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, they're the type to, like, you know, like, you know, did you have enough to eat? Do you want more? But in a yeah. nice way. Up here, like the old Italian ladies are like, no, eat, eat more. Eat more. You need to eat. You're skinny. I'm yeah. 300 pounds. You're skinny. It's great. Yeah. You need to eat. It's like aggressive up here. You need to eat. <laughs> I know, right? You're just like drinking tomato sauce. Like, is yeah. this enough? Like, yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, it's never yeah. enough. Never enough. Nice little collection of... I collect these little Navajo table runners. I'll put them on the wall. But honestly, I, I just smell a good, well-adjusted... Uh, oh, man, you got the, the old excursion? Good for them. Man, what a piece. Gray 12 Accord and an excursion. I can't hate these people. It's a nice house. It's good. It, it's, it's well maintained. Uh, oh, it's a dog breeder. It's a dog breeding kennel. They probably bred greyhounds. It's not a puppy mill. Oh, they. Oh, that Jack Russell Terriers, champion Jack Russells. Wow, Damn. good for them. Wow. No, I would not. Just in case you're wondering, I would not. This is a nice kennel, though. They got the washing machine for the PP pads. And it's a dog breeding facility mm. for the champion Jack Russell. Imagine living being this lady's neighbor for 10 years, all the dogs barking. F fur babies. Yeah, my fur babies, y'all. I don't want to hear them barking, but these are all champions. So these are probably the most expensive Jack Russell Terriers in the world. They're probably eating salmon at night, peach mm. cobbler. They're even better than me. They're getting gluck gluck. Mmm, <laughs> damn, y'all. I couldn't even breathe. You're holding my nose again. <laughs> You're learning too much on meat holes. <laughs> there you go again, doing all that meat hole stuff to me. <laughs> Mm, Fred, holding my holding the nose. Damn. <laughs> Fred, there you go, holding my nose again. Dang, how am I gonna cook when I have old stuffed up nose? Making my eyes water when I'm doing the gluck gluck. <laughs> Pink twist. Did Prince name this? This sounds like some. It sounds like riff raff and Prince. Yeah, name. yeah. Name it Pink, Pink twist. twist. Blueberry Boulevard. And I was thinking you name it Cherry Chupacabra, baby. Damn, this is a pink. There's nothing Pink twist about this house, other than the thought of something pink being twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Come
Come bring me food. 15632 Pink Twist. <laughs> says your name here is a uh, psychopath meat eater. I'll eat you shoulders first. <laughs> I love eating them by the shoulders first. Great piece of property though. <laughs> That's where I put the bodies under the rocks. Helicopters can't see them because the rocks change temperature. <laughs> 275, 35 acres, two homes on two lots. One home is 30 years old. The other home is in the process of being built clearly. There's a contingency on the property now. I encourage offers. What's the contingency? You get rid of all the dead girls from this, like nice smashed tin roof, stone foundation, uh, a bunch of fucking chainsaw cabins for Thai people up to. I like the property though. Other than it being a complete fucking rape den in the middle of the Ozarks, this is not, this is about as code as, as like, you would get laughed off the block. And so this, this is, the whole second house is a teardown by our standards. You can't do that. It's Arkansas, baby. In Arkansas, you do what you want, my property, my rights. <laughs> But yeah, no, the house is a teardown. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, 275, reaching, reaching. No bank's going to put a loan on it. Look at that fan, dog. Holy shit. Oh, stuff man. that fan has seen. Hey, don't make the bed, guys. And I'm glad we have, like, bottles of fucking stuff on the headboard. Like, Jesus Christ. The first thing out of the seller's mouth when he met the realtor was lube up your ass. And then he said, oops, Freudian slip. He meant to say, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it sounds similar. He's like, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, meat eater, uh, shoulder eat, human cannibal, man, uh, lube up your ass. Oh, I'm blowing this. Um, I would like to sell my house. <laughs> Shit. Uh, God, I'm screwing this up. I'm about to walk off the roof. Yeah. Come on down here. I'm in the rocks. Hey, lady, come down here. She's 600 feet away. She's fucking terrified. You can just hear her car like back out of the driveway. Like oh. that man went on to be um, Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, the house actually looks like it was off to a good start, to be honest with you, just lines wise. But uh, I don't know. Hey, if, if you walk a uh, code guy out there and he says it's okay, but no bank's gonna fuck with you on this piece. Um, and the land doesn't look like, I mean, I'm guessing this, based on this, it's been on the market forever. He's shooting for a price in the dark. He probably bought this place for, okay, bought it for 120 and then put a half fake house on it. So it's worth uh, 120. Pactula Drive, Rapid City, South Dakota. I've never, I don't ever had one in Rapid City, so thank you for sending this to me. Three bedroom, two bath, log cabin for 579 on two and a half acres with a detached garage. Nice land. Bad landscaping. Mm -hmm. Now the good news is, when I hang out with my father, he talks about log cabin kits a lot, so I kind of know what he's talking about. Laundry in unit and master unit, great Airbnb, I'll tell you that. Um, hmm, it's a nice house. And basically what I'm judging it is on, is that my dad knows how much a log cabin kit is. I bet you he's explored this specific cabin more than once. I don't think you could buy the land and erect this for less than that and the financeability of it. It's kind of like a, yeah, go ahead. And why I'm so, you know, price per square foot's a little rich. If you wanted a log cabin, people like them, and you wanted a piece of land and you had to buy it and do it, the, 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 you could probably do it for 570,000. It would cost you a lot between just, just the paving, the utilities, the septic tanks, uh, the, the land clearing, then, and, and the, the hoops you'd have to jump through. I'd rather just see you buy one done where someone's not being a greedy pig about it, rather than go through the hells and the timeline of building a house when, you know, everything's shaking out from underneath you. 